Shalom everyone. I wanted to start this video off with reading some scripture and I want to read from Ephesians 5 verses 22 to 24. Wives, submit yourselves to your husbands as to the Lord. For a husband has authority over his wife, just as Christ has authority over the church. And Christ is himself the saviour of the church, his body. And so wives must submit themselves completely to their husbands, just as the church submits itself to Christ. And I did read that from the NLT. And I believe that these verses are extremely clear. I believe that when scripture says submit yourselves completely to the husband that means completely and completely you know being key word here and i sort of wanted to do this really short video because when the topic has arisen on facebook regarding submission there have been somewhat conflicting you know views especially with the women um and there have been women you know, apparently believing women as well, that sounded more like feminists, even though they claim not to be, you know, with their comments and beliefs, I suppose. You know, some saying that most men tend to leave out the part where husbands are supposed to submit to the Lord. And I don't think that is the case. I think men, believing men themselves, are actually also having issues with finding um coming across those believing women who are and wanting to be submissive and you know be that woman of yah and actually following you know what scripture says and some have also said that when they were married in the past that um they were actually submissive to their husbands however their husbands um were either non-believers abusive or both and i think that's where the rebellion can come from you know rebellion into not being you know the submissive wife or not or rather not actually following any type of i suppose rules you know when it comes to marriage because they were obviously hurt from the past abused um and i suppose many other reasons however we do also need to understand that not all marriage has been um, put together or, you know, blessed, if I can say, by Yahweh. You know, I think for the most part, we can go off on our own. We can make decisions on our own, do whatever we like. And as a result, you know, we, t we tend to complain and, you know, that things went wrong and then sort of say we got abused and, and, and whatnot. And I'm not saying that it's the woman's fault, of course, but it is a direct result of not really listening to Yahweh and doing things our own way. Now, I actually have no doubt, no doubt that a true man of Yahweh will actually love you and respect you if you are to actually submit to him. And then both of you uh, live a life that is pleasing to Yahweh. You know, I have no doubt that when you do submit that your husband you know i have no doubt that he you know that he won't sorry treat you you know the way the bible says that you should be treated he definitely will love you and respect you and and you know put you on that pedestal if you will if that's you know what you want um you know we as believing women i think need to believe or understand but also extremely believe what the bible says and that the bible is truth you know what yahweh has for us what he has instructed for us to do and how to you know behave and go about living our lives you know should be done with great love and respect for him and an awe of him and with reverence um you know instead of i suppose complaining or making up your own rules as as you want you know, when it comes to Yahweh and scripture, you know, what he says, I think for the most part, our opinions or our personal opinions and feelings don't really matter. Um, and I don't mean for that to sound horrible, but, you know, I think the same can be said for sin. 
um, you know, what the Bible considers sin is sin, you know, the end, you know, like that's full stop. Your opinion on sin even doesn't really matter. You know, you shouldn't be looking for loopholes, excuses, justifying your behavior. You know, it's black or white. It's, there is no middle ground. You know, you're either for Yahweh or the devil. And if you're somewhere in between, you know, if I, if I can put it in a way that is, or that I can say is lukewarm, to me at least, maybe many others might believe the same. If you're in the middle, you directly are going strongly towards, you know, the devil. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't think when it comes to the Bible and scripture and what Yahweh says, it's his word. Um, it's Yahweh or no way <laughs> and you know we shouldn't really be justifying anything really yet alone marriage or or the way you know we don't want to submit to our husbands or you know any of that stuff and I watched a preaching a few days ago actually and I loved it I rewatched it and the pastor said um, you know don't practice loophole Christianity instead if Yahweh says jump, you just say how high. And I think that is absolutely awesome and very, very true. You know, like I just said, and I know I'm repeating myself, but, you know, instead of looking for those loopholes, you know, if Yahweh tells us to do something, we are to do it. No ifs and buts. And I think that needs to be said, not just for submission um, to your husband, but in all aspects of life where Yahweh instructs us. And so I actually want to end this video with a comment that I did see on, um, on a Facebook post regarding submission. Um, but more so, this comment is about um, equality and it sort of tends to, I suppose, speak about feminism and how, you know, women tend to think nowadays that is actually, you know, or has opposed the Bible. And so it is quite a longish um, comment, which I didn't write down in my notes. So I just took screenshots, but I do want to end with that. And I won't actually say anything after that. So I will leave it at the comment. Because um, I do agree with it for the most part. And it's somewhat it's kind of self-explanatory in itself. So the comment says, we have fallen down a dangerous slippery slope. Using the word equal is a worldly term and not found in the Bible. This word equal and equality has destroyed the family unit and has divided us in so many ways. Did God make Adam and Eve equal? No. He made Adam first and without her. Adam was handmade by God and Adam dwelt on the earth without Eve for a time obtaining knowledge and learning from God. If man and woman are equal, God would have made them at the same time, but he didn't, and he made Eve from Adam. Adam came from God, Eve came from man. This is not equal status here. The Bible gives us clear examples of man's role with God. He chose Abraham, Isaac and Jacob to make his covenants with, not woman. He chose men to lead, like Moses, Joshua, Gideon. He chose men to be priests, not women. He chose a man to be a messiah and redeemer, not a woman. He chose men to be kings, to rule his people. It was Adam who took the greater punishment for Eve's sin, and scripture stated, sorry, scripture states, men are held more accountable for their wives and children, not women. This is not equal status here in God's eyes. The world has done a very good job telling women they are equal to men, right to vote, equal pay, equal in every way, and this has stripped men of their God-given gift of leadership. How, how does a man lead his home when he completes, competes with his wife in all areas? Equality leads to a Marxist and communist agenda. Woman is to submit and respect her husband, and men, and men are sub sorry, tongue-tied, and men are to submit and respect God. God has laid out his order, and because we have rebelled against its, this order, 
equality has destroyed God's order. Equality has led to feminism and pushed women to be with women and men with men. Women are the weaker vessel and we need to recognize our role and submit to our husband's leadership. We need to get on our knees and repent of this rebellious equality. And so, yes, that's the comment. And I do want to end with that without saying anything. Because I know many women will be, believing women or just women of the world, will be offended regardless. But those are kind of my two cents for the video. And thank you for watching. And until next time, shalom.